This Python hackerang challenge is called tuples. So we're going to have an integer called n. It's going to be, um, I guess, it's going to contain space separated integers. That's going to be the inputs. And we need to create a tuple called t containing these integers. And then we're going to compute and print the results of the, um, the outputs of the hash function. So whenever we pass t to the hash function, we get an output. That's what we need to print on the console. You can read more about the hash function in the Python documentation. As they explain here, it returns the hash value of an object. And hash values are integers. So um, this is necessary, I guess, for um, cyber security and all that. But in this case, we don't need to really understand what the hash function does because that hacker rank challenge is more about tuples. And the solution is what you see here in one line. Believe it or not, that's the only thing that we need to do to pass this challenge. So here I have my integer list, which is the list of integers that they receive as inputs. I am passing that list to my tuple. So when you pass a list to that tuple, it creates a tuple in Python. Whatever this returns, which is the tuple, I am passing that output to my hash function right here. So this is the hash function. And whatever output the hash function gives is what I am passing to my print function. When I run this code, I get these outputs. Now let's try to submit this code and we are done. So it was a very simple challenge. You guys can better read about the hash function and also try to understand the code again if it was a bit too fast for you. You can replay this video or ask your questions in the comment section. If you like my Python tutorials, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.